Hi, I'm Lisa Valenti, registered dietitian with Healthline, and today we are talking about one of the world's healthiest diets, and that's the Mediterranean diet. You may have heard of the Mediterranean diet, but what exactly is it? What foods can you eat? What are the pros and cons of trying this way of eating, and should you consider it? Let's dig in. Some research-backed benefits of the Mediterranean diet are that it may help with weight management or weight loss. It also promotes a healthy heart and may help reduce your risk of high blood pressure and stroke. Eating a Mediterranean diet also helps support stable blood sugar levels and protect against type 2 diabetes. And when it comes to your brain, eating this way may help improve your memory and cognitive function and reduce your risk of Alzheimer's disease. The diet is based on the traditional foods and ways of eating in countries bordering the Mediterranean Sea, including France, Spain, Greece, and Italy. Researchers have found that people who live in these regions tend to have a lower risk of chronic conditions and lead healthier lives compared to people who follow a standard American diet. The Mediterranean diet encourages people to eat more fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, seafood, nuts and seeds, and healthy fats like olive oil. There's a moderate intake of poultry, eggs, cheese, yogurt, and red wine. You would then eat fewer ultra-processed foods, added sugars, refined grains, sweetened beverages, and limit your overall alcohol intake. It's not just about the foods you eat or don't eat on the Mediterranean diet. Social connection over meals, so sharing meals with loved ones while putting your phones down and talking to each other, is part of why this diet is so good for your health. They also add lots of flavor to foods with herbs and spices rather than a reliance on too much salt or added sugar. Herbs and spices are antioxidant rich and eating too much salt isn't great, but this also speaks to enjoying what you are eating. It doesn't have to be bland or flavorless. So what would a day of eating look like? Breakfast might be Greek yogurt with strawberries and chia seeds or oatmeal with blueberries or eggs with vegetables and whole wheat toast. Lunch options could include a quinoa salad with vegetables and chickpeas, a tuna salad with greens and olive oil, or perhaps a whole grain sandwich with cheese and vegetables. Dinners vary, but might include grilled chicken with roasted vegetables, sweet potatoes and fruit, salmon with brown rice and vegetables, or a lasagna. Snacks could be fruits, nuts, olives, veggies and hummus, or yogurt. These principles can be applied to other types of cuisines and preferences, so it may look like a ramen noodle bowl with vegetables and shrimp, tacos with beans, peppers, and avocado, or a lentil curry with vegetables served over brown rice. Every day would look a little bit different and you'd wanna focus on all those yummy, wholesome foods and adapt the flavors based on your preferences. When it comes to wine, which is what I think a lot of people think of when they picture the Mediterranean diet, moderation is key. Having small glasses, not every day, and likely socially connecting and slowing down over meals while you enjoy that small glass, that's important. The wine itself isn't actually beneficial for your health. Drinking alcohol is associated with negative health effects. But people who follow a Mediterranean diet also don't drink a lot of beer or liquor, so the diet itself is pretty limited in alcohol. You're also not counting calories, macros, carbs. This isn't a low-fat diet or a low-carb diet or a diet where you don't eat from three different food groups. It's very much about moderation and, dare I say, common sense principles. Some people will love the flexibility of eating like this, and others do prefer a more rigid structure. I honestly think everyone could follow this diet pattern loosely. It's full of nutritious foods, not restrictive or limiting, and reduces ultra-processed foods and added sugar. There is also an element of joy around eating and sharing meals together, which I think is really important. If you're managing a chronic condition with your diet, it may not be for you, or it may be something you want to chat with your healthcare team about. There aren't a lot of downsides to eating a Mediterranean diet. Some people may struggle to figure out what to eat since it doesn't have a lot of structure or black and white rules, but that also makes it easier to stick with for a long time. There's also a focus on European cuisines and a lack of cultural diversity in the original research and many of the recommendations around what to eat. Most cultures around the world eat veggies, fruits, and grains though, and follow many of those same principles of the Mediterranean diet, so I think it's just a matter of adapting the principles of the diet for you and the foods you enjoy. If you currently don't drink, you wouldn't want to start drinking red wine to follow a more Mediterranean-style diet, since any amount of alcohol does pose health risks. 
Hopefully this video helped clarify some of your Mediterranean diet questions. Let us know if there are other diets you want us to explore in the comments down below. And if you're looking for more recipes or inspiration, check out healthline.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more yummy nutrition tips from me and Healthline.